What is up YouTube? Today I'm bringing you a informative and very nice detailed sports card review slash how to. And I say how to because we're going to talk about Panini points. Now if you're not uh, familiar with my channel and you're new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe first. Go ahead and throw this video a like. And three, we're going to talk about how to redeem Panini points for amazing and undervalued cards. My proof is in the pudding. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got this TJ Warren card, rookie card, rookie game use card, I should say, out of 299, I'll show you that. Out of 299 right there, it's a Court Kings Art Nouveau. Probably mispronouncing that, I do not know how to say that, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it is a rookie. TJ Warren's been balling out in the bubble, although they're now kicked out of the bubble by the time I'm dropping this video his card values have just shot through the roof. So, not here to lie to you, I'm only here to help, all right? So what are Panini points? Let's start with that. Make sure to go back a couple videos of mine. I actually showed how to redeem it then, but we're gonna talk a little more about it now that I am more informed myself. I pulled a couple of these little cards. I'm gonna show a picture of it right here. I uh, threw those out because they're kind of worthless after you redeem the code online. It is an online redemption code. So you're going to go on Panini Points um, and then you're going to put in your code and then they'll give you the voucher amount of points that you pulled on the card. So I had 150 points, right? 150. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Um, as sad as that is to say, I've done this multiple times for multiple different cards. I've actually gotten a Chris Paul jersey patch card um, as well off there for I think it was actually only 50 points so these Panini points take place of a card that would be like this in your pack so sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad most of the time though the uh, Panini point selection is very slim and there's not a lot however at the time of filming this in August of 2020 there's a huge selection there's soccer basketball baseball hockey I saw a few Make sure to check it out, is all I'm saying, if you have Panini points. All right, so I talked about TJ Warren, and he's just gonna be the example that we use for this video. I also wanted to show this nice card to go alongside with it. It's a rookie patch auto card out of 199. Um, and if I had a lot of people wondering about how I protect my cards, this is a top loader around a hard casing. Um, they're soft sleeved inside and then this for my crazy good cards or good investment cards I'd say that are raw not graded and what I mean by that is here's a graded Zion um, it's a PSA graded it's in a slab certified card so that is that is what graded means versus raw first off we'll start there but panini points are only gonna sell you a raw card it doesn't have to be jersey card doesn't have to be autographed they have those on there they also have regular regular cards now i'm just going to show you the proof of what i paid for this tj warren rookie patch card all right 567 567 that's all i paid all you got to do is cover the shipping and handling who would have thought right so this card is actually well worth over 60 bucks now, I'd say. Um, the Rookie Patch Auto is way more because it's got both the autograph and the jersey. You can find some of these on there if you're lucky. However, I found this card on there, and I'm going to show you the proof. Right here, you're going to have the proof of it right there. All right. So down here, you can see the image is literally the card, the TJ Warren Court Kings art. I cannot pronounce that word correctly. I've tried, cannot do it. I paid zero dollars for it. There's my SKU number, reward dash blah, blah, blah. All right, so literally I ordered this on August 5th as well. It says it right there, August 5th, 2020. And I've got it, I'm filming this about August 24th. I'm going to have to edit it, of course, but yeah, so crazy, crazy opportunity with Panini points. I literally pulled one out of a pack. Um, I had a couple gifted to me, 
and I just redeemed them for cards that I thought were cool or I'd like to add to my personal collection or what it, whatever it may be, there's a card on there for you and I just wanted to drop this video to help you out as someone helped me. So with that being said, if you see Panini points online, snag them, buy them, get them. As long as they're not redeemed, make sure it's from a trusted source because I have seen people selling and scamming with used ones already. And it's not like you would know until you try to redeem the code yourself. So be careful, 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 careful. Make sure you know that it's a good seller. But yeah, I hope this video was uh, helpful. Panini points, you can pull them out of any um, Panini pack, Panini branded pack, I should say, so obviously, um, hence the name. But, you know, this is gonna be a lot of um, first time card collectors, somebody who just pulled a Panini points, doesn't know what to do with it. Well, here you go. Um, I hope you pull a, a Panini points and then you're able to redeem it for a card just as good as this. Um, I know you could do it. Thanks for watching so much. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Hope it was helpful. And thank you so much for tuning in. You know what to do. Be easy.